Yo guys, Spiderbot here. We're bringing you some Origins content today. We're going to be talking about the Golden Shovel and the Golden Helmet. How to get both items and exactly what are the benefits of having the Golden Shovel and the Golden Helmet. So basically to get the Golden Shovel, all you're going to do is hit uh, dig sites. Dig sites after dig site after dig site. And uh, we're actually going to get it here, so listen to this. All right, did you hear that little ping? That is us getting the golden shovel. It's indicated to the right of our score. Our shovel is now gold instead of the gray version that is beside one of our other players, the yellow player. Anyways, in order to get, like I was mentioning, you just keep digging up dig sites. If you're playing co-op, it, it might take you a little bit longer, obviously, especially if your other teammates are digging up dig sites as well. Um, you know, I can, I've gotten it around round 13 to 15, digging up every single dig site. The other, my other teammates didn't dig up any dig sites, and I'd always scour the map and dig every single dig site up that I could in order to get that golden shovel. And around 13 to 15 or so, I figure approximately maybe 30 dig sites about. Uh, I've never actually counted, but just keep digging them and you'll eventually get it. So what are the impacts? What are the benefits of this golden shovel? Well, for one, I think it increases and it appears to increase the likelihood that you're going to get something good out of dig sites and it possibly reduces the likelihood of you getting something bad. For instance, a zombie or a frag or two out of the dig site. Uh, you will still get those bad things and I don't necessarily consider getting a zombie a bad thing because sometimes if we're running just one zombie and we know he's hurt, it's ideal when you dig up a dig site and you have a fresh zombie so you can kill the other one. Because if you go too far away from a hurt zombie, uh, he won't respawn. He'll just die and you'll be into the next round. Um, some of the benefits, though, that we've seen, I've gotten, I believe, a max ammo out of uh, a dig site. Other weapons, and I know you can probably get them without the golden shovel, but again, the chances, I think, are increased. I've gotten an M1216, and this is the first time, this is the first time I've ever seen the other night, I got claymores from the dig site uh, after getting uh, my golden shovel. So that's pretty epic. So that's one benefit of having the golden shovel. The other benefit is that eventually if you continue digging up the dig sites, and I believe this is purely random as uh, to how many dig sites you have to dig up in order to get this, but eventually you will get the golden helmet. And when you do eventually get it, you get the same ping noise that we got when we got the golden shovel. So here it is. All right, so we have this golden helmet. What the hell? We have a golden shovel and we have a golden helmet. Now, there is one other impact with the golden shovel. We'll talk about it in a second. But the golden helmet is pretty cool. Well, what does it do? Well, <laughs> we're going to test it out here. We're going to stand in the zombie robot's footprint. And uh, we're not going to enter the foot. We're not going to open up the door. We're just going to let it stomp on us. The golden helmet prevents the robot from killing you when it stomps on you. I mean, everything goes black, same as it would normally. If uh, if you didn't have the golden helmet, you would be downed, you would lose all your perks, but with the golden helmet, apparently it protects you from the robot stomp. You don't go down and you don't lose any of your perks. I mean, you're stunned a little bit. I mean, it does go black, right? And then as soon as he lifts the foot up, you're gone, which is cool. I mean, it, it basically acts like a, like a trap, right? And you know, you know how on a lot of the other maps you have like the acid trap, the electric trap, uh, etc. Well, you can utilize this, especially if you're running higher rounds. You can utilize this as a trap. So let's say you're running the jug area. You can take a full group of zombies from that jug area as that middle robot approaches and then bring them into the foot uh, the footprint and the middle robot will stomp them and snuff them out and kill them all. So you can basically destroy groups of zombies in that fashion. And you can do it over on the church side as well as the spawn side. So pretty cool, huh? Okay, so what's this other benefit that the Golden Shovel has? Well, the Golden Shovel allows you to dig up hidden dig sites located around the map. The only way you can see these hidden dig sites is in zombie blood mode. Now, they're located at various positions on the map. I'm going to produce another video which looks at 
uh, specifically these dig site locations. But what they do when you dig them up, if you find one in zombie blood, you have the golden shovel, you can dig it up, and it's a perk bottle. Now, it doesn't give you a perk. It actually gives you an additional perk slot. So at the beginning of the game, you start with four. You can't buy more than four perks. You can get a fifth perk if you get your double tap reward from the challenge chest after spending 30,000 points around the map. If you haven't already purchased double tap, you can get it and that can be your fifth perk. If you get one of these perk bottles after that, well, that enables your fifth perk slot. So if you get down, you lose all your perks, you can now buy five of them, all right? So you can't buy a sixth one yet. Uh, even though you did have five to begin with, it still enables that additional slot for you. And you can keep getting them. You can find them on the map every time you go into zombie blood. You can find them on the map. And you can get additional slots to get uh, or to enable you to purchase all the perks that exist on the map origins. I believe there are nine. All right. Again, doesn't give you a free perk. It gives you a free perk slot which then you can fill by purchasing a perk. And it stays with you for the entire game. You can bleed out and come back the next round. All your your uh, perk slots are still enabled and you can purchase them. Again, look for the video. I'll post it uh, probably later today or tomorrow uh, showing you all our known locations for these, uh, these perk slot bottles. All right, so that's it for now. Pretty cool. Uh, there may be other effects of the golden shovel and golden helmet that we're not aware of. If we do find them, we will be sure to bring them to you guys here on NGT Zombies. Anyways, that's it for now. I'm spidering them out.